In this lesson, I'm going to explain a concept from international economics which students find particularly challenging. That is the concept of the balance of payments. We're going to start with the definition and then walk through a careful example of transactions that would be recorded in a nation's balance of payments and distinguish between the two different categories of transactions that are recorded here. Let's start with the definition of balance of payments. A nation's balance of payments is a summary of all the transactions between the people of one country and the rest of the world. It includes the purchase of goods and services, the transfer of income, other transfers such as gifts, and the purchase of real and financial assets. That's a very convoluted definition, but it should make more sense after we've gone through our example and filled in our table here on the left. So let's look at our table and look at what it includes. A nation's balance of payments can be divided into two accounts. So all transactions that the residents of one country complete with residents of any other country are recorded in either the current account or the financial account of that nation's balance of payments. We're going to break these accounts down into the different components and we'll look at which types of transactions are recorded as a positive and lead to an increase in the nation's accounts and which kinds of transactions are recorded as a negative and lead to a decrease in the nation's accounts. Let's start with the current account. Sometimes we refer to a nation's current account balance as its balance of trade. This might be the more commonly referred to expression, but it's a little bit more complicated than just trade in goods and services. However, the export and import of goods and services are recorded in a nation's current account. So as far as what is recorded as a positive, we can say that the export of goods and the export of services are recorded as a positive in a nation's current account balance. Why is an export considered a positive? Because money is flowing into a country when it exports its goods or services to another country. Therefore, this is recorded as a positive in the nation's balance of payments under what we call the current account. However, the purchase of goods and services are not the only components of a nation's current account balance. Income transfers are also included. What are the different types of income that might be transferred? This could include remittances, which is when a worker from one country works abroad and sends some of his wages back to the country from which he originated. I am a perfect example of this. I'm an American working in Switzerland. Some of the wages I earn in Switzerland are transferred back to my bank in the United States. This income that's transferred back to the United States is recorded as a positive in America's current account balance. So we can say that remittances from home country nationals working abroad are recorded as a positive in the home country's current account balance. Also included under income transfers are interest payments earned by home savers abroad and returned back to the home country are counted as a positive in the current account. Finally, profits from home companies abroad that are transferred back home are recorded as a positive in the current account balance. So exports of goods, exports of services, the transfer of incomes, whether it's wages, interest, or profits, and finally what we call current transfers. These are gifts from foreign entities to domestic entities. So if a foreign government were to make a grant to the domestic government, that would be recorded as a positive in the current account. If a foreign family or household were to make a financial gift to a domestic household, that transaction would also be recorded in the current account. These current transfers are going to make up a relatively tiny proportion of all the money flowing into and out of a nation's current account balance because obviously goods exports and service exports and even income transfers are going to be significantly larger than current transfers. So what is recorded as a negative in the current account? Well obviously the opposite of all of these things that were recorded as a positive. Rather than exports being recorded, imports of goods is recorded as a negative because money is flowing out of the nation's economy when domestic households buy foreign goods. Imported services are also recorded as a negative in the current account since money being spent by a domestic household is actually being leaked from the circular flow and spent on foreign services instead. And income transfers are also included in the negative column as well. So in this case if foreign workers are sending remittances to their country out of the home country, this would be counted as a negative in the home country's current account balance. Also, if foreign firms 
profits are repatriated to the foreign country, this is also a negative in the current account. Finally, interest earned by foreign savers in domestic banks that is repatriated to the foreign country additionally is recorded as a negative in the current account balance. Finally, current transfers, which refers to gifts from the domestic government or households to foreigners, all represent money leaving a nation's current account and are therefore recorded as a negative in the current account balance. Now that we've distinguished between the components of the current account balance and we know what factors lead to a positive and what factors lead to a negative in this account, we can talk about what the possible situations a country's current account balance might find itself in are. Each of the accounts in the balance of payments could be either in surplus or deficit. A surplus in the current account occurs if the injections or the positives are greater than the leakages or the negatives. So if A in this column is greater than B, then the current account is in surplus. This means there is more money flowing into the country from trade and income transfers than there is money flowing out of the country. On the other hand, if B, the leakages or the negatives, the money flowing out of the country exceeds A, then the current account balance is in deficit. So if you ever hear that a country's current account or its trade balance is in surplus, this means more money is flowing in from trade and income transfers than is flowing out. If the current account is in deficit, it means more money is flowing out to the rest of the world than is flowing in. Sometimes we refer to this simply as a trade surplus or a trade deficit. Here we go.